Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and today I want to talk to you guys about uh, an important men's health and fitness topic, and this video is really intended to be educational. Uh, I'm not making this out of any specific religious or political bias of any type. Um, this is being discussed purely based upon the objectivity of what's been noted by researchers over the years, and my concern with this is actually literally only the health, fitness, and well-being of men. This isn't even intended with any of the feminist arguments or any of that going on. Um, and I was reminded of this. Uh, I've covered this on another channel of mine, but I was reminded of this because Paul Carter, who is a coach who, who I like, I don't always agree with everything Paul says, but I think he's a good coach. Um, he was starting a, a Facebook group, and I linked it over on my main uh, Facebook fan page for this channel about uh, doing, he's doing an experiment where he wants guys to, to try to go 90 days without looking at any pornography and then document it and look at the results. And uh, you know guys, this really is a serious men's fitness issue to the point to where even the, you see the whole no fat movement and everything going on on forums. You know what, I don't necessarily even support the, the whole no fat movement because I don't think that aspect of it is really the concern. Uh, my concern when it comes to the health, fitness, and well-being of young men, now actually even older men, is that there is emerging data showing that porn addiction is actually a very real thing. It's very widespread, and it actually has negative consequences uh, to men. Well, and, and indirectly negative consequences to women, doesn't it? Because if men are suffering from these problems, that actually doesn't help with, for women either. Now, when I say that this is a men's health issue, I really do mean that because uh, the quality of your sex life, uh, your sense of sexual self-identity absolutely impacts your health. It will impact the reasons you train in the gym. It will impact aspects of your day-to-day -day life, and it, it can impact your self-esteem and your sense of worth as a man. And this is stuff that we actually need to be concerned about. If we're going to talk about all-encompassing fitness, which I try to do here, even though this is primarily a lifting and athleticism channel, I mean, I talk a lot about cardio conditioning in addition to all the strength training, um, diet, everything else. Well, this is an important topic for young men. It really is, particularly when you consider how many young men are out there going into training specifically because they want to attract women and things. And what do I mean by porn addiction? Well, there's a lot of research out there. Uh, and if you guys start digging into the research, what researchers have been finding is that young men who become porn addicted run into actual legitimate problems having a normal healthy uh, relationship with a female it absolutely interferes with that and, and that absolutely affects your well-being if you can't have a, a healthy sex life um, with a woman that's going to affect you as a man that's not good for you in the long term that will shorten your longevity we know that it absolutely can affect your lifespan and quality of life. So when we talk about porn addiction being a real thing, what's been noted by the researchers is that young men, when they become addicted to porn, uh, the first problem they have, and this is actually the first problem, it is not even the biggest problem, is that it shifts their standards because uh, you see women who do porn usually look very attractive, they're very done up, they usually have great bodies, it gives men sometimes an unrealistic expectation uh, in what to expect from real women, women in the real world, women that they are most likely to meet, and particularly men who aren't in that top tier uh, in terms of the ability to attract what they would think of as top tier mates. Uh, this can become a problem for their sexual arousal. This can become a problem for their sexual performance because of the unrealistic expectations. Uh, furthermore, it tends to push young men into wanting to do the acts that they see in the pornography. All right, and you're going to find oftentimes that that is going to create conflict because very often, and not always, I mean, we know there are women who, who are willing to do whatever, have their own fetishes and everything, but that's going to make it, if you decide that you're really into something that you've seen in a porn and the majority of women are not going to be into whatever that activity happens to be, uh, without going into any details there, it's going to make it harder for you to find compatible partners. It's going to cause disappointment with your expectations and something that is supposed to be one of the most enjoyable 
activities in our lives, uh, something that brings us, actually improves our health, our well-being, and, and a great deal of satisfaction, you're going to lose the ability to enjoy that to a larger extent due to uh, disappointment. And it sets very, very unrealistic expectations in, on multiple levels. But that's purely just from watching it a lot. What ends up happening when people become addicted, change scenes a lot. In other words, every one to two minutes, they change to a different scene, right? They flip through and chain watch pornography. And therefore, they need a new woman, a new scene, a new position, whatever, because that's what they're observing. That is what they've programmed themselves to desire and to need. And what ends up happening when these men have become addicted to porn to where they chain watch through those different scenes, that becomes their brain's requirement for arousal. In other words, uh, this leads to erectile dysfunction because if they are used to doing this and they've done this, say, 50 times in a row in between the last time they've been with a real partner, partner intimately, what ends up happening when they don't get the change of visual stimulus? Their sexual desire goes away. Uh, their erection often goes away. Uh, and if they are able to maintain it, they are unable oftentimes to uh, finish the deal. They're unable to finish, which ends up causing a lot of problems. Now, as you can imagine, if you're in a relationship or in a new relationship and you've gotten with a woman for the first time, and it doesn't matter whether you're talking about a hookup, a friends with benefits, or someone who you are dating and looking at a serious romantic partner, uh, the inability to perform more than a minute or two minutes is number one going to damage the self-esteem of the girl. That girl is then going to be less likely to uh, want to continue to see you in any romantic or sexual capacity. This is a problem because this also affects the self-esteem of the men who are addicted because they don't understand why that happened. You know, they, they watch all this porn. They're now with a real woman. They can't perform. They get started, but they can't finish it. And again, this is damaging to the women too because then they're like, wow, this guy's terrible in bed. He can't keep it up. And women being women, they'll internalize that. They then blame themselves as if it's their fault. Why weren't they attractive enough to keep him interested? Uh, again, they're very, very unlikely to want to give this guy another chance. And then the guy is going to... Uh, ultimately become frustrated as well because it's like, wow, why couldn't I do this? What what happened? What went wrong? They don't understand what went wrong. And then they have this happen multiple times to them. They invest a lot of effort into finding partners only to run into this problem two, three, four times in a row. Now, as you can imagine, this is going to lead to not only large amounts of frustration, it's going to lead to a loss of self-esteem it's going to lead to a loss of self-esteem because it's going to make men then feel inadequate. And then when these girls don't want anything to do with them again, it's going to make them have a lower self-esteem. This is destructive to a man's masculinity. It's destructive to a man's sense of identity. All right, because as men, we put a great deal of value on our sexual prowess. Right? That's, it's, for most of us, that's a big part of who we are. And if we don't have that and we're unable to perform because of this addiction, uh, it's destructive. And the data out there is showing that this is an increasing problem. And, and the Internet has obviously proliferated this, but it's an increasing problem. And, I mean, we could argue all day long about freedoms uh, because I believe people should have freedoms. I don't think porn should be banned. I, I don't support that idea. But when we look at the social harm, this is something like anything else. Um, if it's abused, just like alcohol, I believe alcohol should be legal. When it's abused, there can be serious consequences. And there are sometimes unforeseen consequences. And this is probably the biggest unforeseen consequence uh, that we now have in this generation based upon the wide-scale porn use. And again, researchers are looking at it and their psychologists are looking at it and they're finding this is actually a real problem. Uh, so what do you do about it? 
Well, what I would tell most guys, if this is becoming a problem for you, uh, you might need to go off of it cold turkey. Because just like with anything else, any other addiction, um, you know, alcohol can be used responsibly. Well, when you use it irresponsibly, you usually have to stay away from it completely. And I think, honestly, that might be the best cure for a lot of these guys. And there's a growing number of men on the Internet who have realized this. They have support groups for it. They have groups that keep logs of this stuff. And they're finding it's actually really helpful for them to uh, avoid it completely. And I just felt like I wanted to address this topic because it's something I haven't talked about on this channel. And it really is a legitimate men's health and fitness issue. So I hope this has been informative, or at least educational, or entertaining, if nothing else. And uh, I will talk to you guys next time.